Hello Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. This is Wasted Traditions and I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. Before we get started, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started for you, Aquarius. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for coming in here. Let me know in the comments below. What prosperous changes did you embrace last week? That was last week's video. Drop in the comments, what prosperous changes did you embrace? If you didn't get to see that video, I will link it in the cards as well as in the description below. All right, Divine Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know for this upcoming week? Do tell. Let's see what we got for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. Porcupine spirit comes up for you first. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind, Aquarius, time for beginner mind, okay? So this is, this to me, what I'm getting from this is shift of mindset. I'm getting shift of mindset for you, Aquarius. Change what is, what it is you believe about yourself, what it is you believe about how others see you. Perhaps um, give yourself a clean slate is what I'm also getting. Be expressive with your thoughts, yet do not allow your thoughts to control you. You control your thoughts, Aquarius, okay? Porcupine spirit. Let's get some tarot to understand what divine spirit needs you to know aquarius divine spirit do tell what does aquarius need to know The wheel, wow. Okay, the wheel. Big time for beginner mind, the wheel. And we also get the Prince of Cups for you as well, Divine Spirit. Which is the Knight of Cups in the original tarot. All right. So, with the wheel, Aquarius, just expanding on time for beginner mind for you, Aquarius. There is, the wheel is always moving, right? Not one of us can stop the wheel. Yet, we may try, right? This this is pointing to change and then that will this the wheel is expanding on the beginner mind for you Aquarius. So I'm getting change your mindset, your old way of thinking Aquarius. Um, that cycle has ended. This is your 
signal to change your mindset that's what the wheel one of the things the wheel represents is change so this is in line spirit is showing you in line with the beginner mind time for beginner mind the wheel is signifying it's a time for a change of mindset a shift of mindset right transformation of how you think renewing of your mind right transitioning into a new way of thinking all right um it's the end of the old mindset is is what i'm getting for you aquarius and then with the knight of cups in this deck this is the illuminati deck it shows uh, prince of cups but it represents the knight of cups right so the knight of cups normally is moving at a steady pace right it doesn't charge forward say like um the knight of swords or the knight of wands the knight of cups is a calm steady pace toward a new action toward a new thing right what i'm getting from this is with your shift in in mindset with your change of mindset with you moving toward a beginner mind aquarius slow and steady wins the race right i'm also getting from this prince of cups to also use your heart while you are shifting your mindset use your heart let your heart guide you and not so much your thoughts because it seems like what i'm also getting aquarius is you're in your head a lot and us being in our head can get us into some tight spaces. So shift your mindset, go at a, a steady, calm pace, and just, just understand this change is for the better. This change is for the betterment of you. So let's get some clarifiers for the wheel and the Prince of Cups. All right, Aquarius. Divine Spirit, clarify the wheel and the Prince of Cups for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Do tell. The wheel. Clarify the wheel, Divine Spirit. And then the Prince of Cups for our beautiful an amazing Aquarius. For the wheel, clarifying with the Five of Pentacles. And for the Prince of Cups, clarifying with the Six of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and lay out clarifiers for our other cards as well. I'm going to look at the Shadow card, which points to hopes or fears. All right, shadow card for you, Aquarius, is showing the Seven of Wands. We will get into this shortly. So, with the wheel, Spirit is clarifying with the Five of Pentacles, which is really interesting because we talk about change here and changing your mindset, beginner mind, right, Aquarius? There is a true need for you to change your mindset and go back to the beginning, go back to a clean slate. I feel like I'm getting from this with this five of pentacles clarifying the wheel. What I'm getting is your mind has your thoughts, the thoughts you keep, the things you repeat in your mind on a daily basis throughout the day has betrayed you. I don't feel like those thoughts are truly your own and they have not served you well and therefore it is time for a beginner mind. It is time to reset, shift your mindset. Aquarius. Yeah, that's what I'm getting with that right now. And then with the Knight of Cups, we have the Six of swords clarifying the knight of cups interesting yes <clears throat> so you do want to shift in a calm and heart-centered space shift your mindset 
uh, steadily, calmly. It's not a rush. It's not anything that's going to happen overnight, right? And so we're clarifying this Knight of Cups with this Six of Swords. And Six of Swords absolutely is moving away from something. It's moving on to something else. <clears throat> um, it's... You're responsible for your thoughts, right? No matter who put them in there, um, someone else as you grew up were telling you specific things that could be mostly untrue, right? But you are responsible for your thoughts and you are responsible and definitely capable Aquarius of shifting your mindset when you put in the work a, petty, a, a steady pace. Uh, with resilience and heart to get it done. But this is absolutely, absolutely pointing to it is time to move on from the current mindset that you live in, um, that you live with on a daily basis. You definitely have to leave behind the old way of thinking, Aquarius, okay? Let's go to the next. What does spirit have for you? Elephant spirit, learn from the past. Wow, learn from the past. This is this is asking you Aquarius to go within to analyze past experiences, to reflect on past behaviors, even past relationships so that you are able to learn from the past. Just this morning I was thinking we repeat lessons over and over again because we haven't learned. So we're going to keep repeating those lessons and spirit is is asking you Aquarius to learn from the past. Go within, analyze the things you've been through and experienced. Um reflect on the roles you played in those experiences and those relationships, right? So that you can learn from the past and not have to continue to repeat those same lessons, right? So you're not repeating the same lessons. Aquarius, okay? Learn from the past. With that, we have the moon and we have the Hierophant. Wow, wow, oh my goodness. I love this for you, Aquarius. All right, with the moon, hmm. Learn from the past. It seems like Spirit is saying, Aquarius, that you have yet to get the lessons. So therefore, you're going to continue to repeat those same things over and over again, right? Because you have been unconscious in your experiences, like you're moving through life unconsciously is what I'm getting here from the moon card re regarding learning from the past, okay? There is wisdom. There is wisdom available to you, Aquarius, when you go within, when you go to to sit with yourself and analyze what you've been through and reflect on what you've been through. There is wisdom there for you to learn. That wisdom gets you to move on and not have to repeat those same lessons over and over again because you're unconscious about the role you played and how you have affected situations, people, and experiences. The it's, it's important that you find wisdom in your past, okay? And then with the Hierophant, wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. With the Hierophant regarding learning from your past, you're going to find freedom. You're going to find change for your life, right? You're going to be able to have the beginner mind that spirit is, is asking you to move toward, right? With the Hierophant, that, that's what I'm picking up right now for you, Aquarius is a part of your process and learning from the past going within to get to beginner mind because when you learn those lessons when you gain that wisdom with the hierophant you are able to change your mindset your way of thinking and you are able to change the way that you operate and move in this world right aquarius this this lens will not focus today I 
I feel like you're also, because you've conformed to society or conformed to traditions of society or even traditions of your family, Aquarius, this has led you to, I hate to say it and it sounds harsh, but it has led you to move through life unconsciously, just going through the motions of life and not being intentional. So spirit is asking you, create a life of intention by, by getting a clean slate and having a beginner mind, learning which, learning from your past experiences and trials and tribulations, as well as triumphs come out of the illusion that this is fine. The status quo is fine. It's not. You are meant for more than that, Aquarius, right? Let's clarify the moon. The moon is being clarified with the Eight of Cups. And the Hierophant is being clarified with the Five of Swords. Wow. <laughs> I just talked about conforming with the Hierophant. And not living a uh, an intentional life of your own choosing with the Hierophant. That is what I got from that. And then we have the Five of Swords clarifying the Hierophant. And this has, this is, this is telling me that just conforming and the status quo has not worked well for you. You have not had a life of freedom by just going along to get along. Living intentionally liberates you. Lib living intentionally gives you freedom. You do want, I feel like mm, there is, again, and I think it's taking me back. I'm getting some energy from this, the moon with this five of swords. There are hidden truths. There has been things going on behind the scenes, Aquarius, that you, you are even unaware of. And, and that's again, going along with the status quo, not wanting to rock the boat, because if you inquire, nothing's going to get past you. There will be no mystery <sighs> with the moon and the eight of cups it's time to walk away from the illusion and the status quo and going along to get along it's time to walk away that this eight of cups is confirming that for you it's clarifying that for you aquarius yeah the disillusion that you've been experiencing I almost feel like it, it's definitely been intentional. Like someone is trying to keep you. Someone has been trying to keep you in the dark. And so you've, you've might been feeling disillusioned for a while now. And spirit is telling you it's time to walk away from that. It is time to walk away from that type of energy, those types of people. Okay. Let's, let's go to our last set of cards for you Aquarius here we have wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom again this whole thing is a mindset shift this whole thing for you Aquarius is a mindset shift wisdom again wisdom with the hierophant wisdom spirit is telling you Turn knowledge into wisdom. And in order to get that knowledge, you must go within. You must learn from your past. Right, Aquarius? When you are able to turn knowledge into wisdom, because people will say um, knowledge is power. And that is untrue. Knowledge applied is power. And that is wisdom. Wisdom brings you power. Knowledge applied is wisdom, which brings you power, Aquarius, right? So when you gain knowledge and turn it into wisdom, because you, you're doing the work, you're on a steady pace of working on yourself. When you're able to do that, you will find that your life becomes more secure. You will find that your life becomes more stable. You will find that you have found 
a, a strong foundation in who you are and how you move throughout this world. Okay, Aquarius, this is this this sounds daunting, but this is for you. It's not being done to you. It's being done for you. Spirit is doing this for you, letting you know for your own benefit, for your own betterment, Aquarius. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> and the Three of Wands. So turning that knowledge into wisdom, Aquarius, brings you to Queen of Pentacles energy. This this Aquarius is truly, truly somewhere you want to be. Queen of Pentacles is self-reliant. Queen of Pentacles is, and this is male or female energy. It, it makes no difference. Queen of Pentacles is self-reliant, um, resilient, resourceful, right? And this is, this is the state of mind and being that you want to be, Aquarius, okay? Of course, financial stability comes with this. When you turn knowledge into wisdom, you are able to get yourself to a place of financial stability. And, and Spirit is letting you know that with this Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Wands for you, Aquarius. This is telling you, Spirit is telling you that you are, are, you are going to expand your life. You are looking ahead, looking forward to what new life is ahead of you because you are creating this new life for yourself. Because you are going to do the work. You are doing the work to shift your mindset and come out of the illusion of what society has told you or what family has told you. You're looking ahead with your three of wands. Okay, you are expanding. You There is rapid growth. Even though this, the pace that you work at will be steady and it's not a sprint, it is a marathon, it still will bring you rapid growth, Aquarius, okay? It's, it's, this is going, you're going to a place of joy. You're going to a place of expression. Your creativity will be unbound. So we'll clarify the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. All right. I love it. And then the Three of Wands with the King of Cups. Okay. So <clears throat> with the Queen of Pentacles, again, we have the Ace of Swords. This is new beginnings. Beginner mind, Aquarius. New beginnings. Beginner mind. Creating your own indiv individuality. Not going along to get along. Um, not just dealing, uh, being a part of the status quo, right? This is, this is pointing to your Queen of Pentacles moment is clarified with this Ace of Swords as you having a breakthrough. You will have a breakthrough in with the work that you're doing. With the work that you're doing, Aquarius, your breakthrough is just around the corner. Okay, and here we have the King of Cups, which is clarifying the Three of Wands. Anytime we get a King in our reading, it's it's beautiful. It is, you know, leveling up, right? You're going to gain control. What this King of Cups is pointing to for your Three of Wands, you're expanding your life. You're looking ahead at the new life that you are creating for yourself, right? And with that, the King of Cups is saying you will gain control. You will have a life of intention when you take the reins, right? There's balance. You will have balance in your life. You won't feel like you're off kilter with this King of Cups energy. Um, there's a lot of emotional intelligence that will be at the ready for you to utilize in your daily life. This is, there. There's you're winning. You are absolutely winning with this reading. And the shadow card, 
that was on the bottom of the deck, which was the, I love this. This is absolutely the best. So your shadow card points to your hopes or your fears. And with this, this is a grand hope for you, Aquarius. The seven of wands is letting you know that perseverance will bring you to success. You are, you will maintain that control that you gain with your king of cups. You're going to maintain control, standing your ground, um, taking defense against anyone, any naysayer that says you're not worth it, that you can't do it. Um, who do you think you are? You will persevere. Again, this is a beautiful reading. All things point to success with this re reading for you, Aquarius. Absolutely. Do the work. Beginner's mind. Change your mindset. Change your life. You have what it takes to do that, Aquarius. There's nothing beyond your reach when I'm when I'm getting from spirit. There is nothing beyond your reach here. You are absolutely capable of making this happen, even though you're going at a steady, calm pace. The growth you will experience will be rapid growth. OK, Aquarius. I hope this has resonated with you and helps you on your journey. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you, Aquarius. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.